What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Acer Predator Helios Neo 16S AI. And this features the Core Ultra 7 or the Core Ultra 9. You can get it equipped with an RTX 5070 or 5070 Ti, I believe. And it's going to start at $1699 with the lower end GPUs and CPUs. And we're looking at a 240 hertz OLED display on here. And it's gonna be a competitor to, say, the Zephyrus G16, because this thing is designed to be slimmer, lighter, and more portable. Let's go ahead and go over all of the features. So this is a four zone backlight keyboard. So it is RGB and it can look pretty cool, you'll see in the B-roll, uh, but it's not per key RGB. It does have a number pad though, which is nice with some nice media function keys over here, as well as the power button over here integrated in. Uh, looks like the fan pro performance switch is right here, a plastic touchpad, and a overall very thin and portable lighter weight chassis. So overall, I mean, it's going to be a very nice portable system in a lot of ways. On the back, we have our power plug, HDMI 2.1, Thunderbolt 4, and a USB-C 3.2. On the left, we have fan exhaust, terminal facing ethernet, USB-A 3.2, micro SD card slot, and a headset port. And then on the right, we have status LEDs as well as two more Type A 3.2s and more fan exhaust. So I'm really curious to see what is the TDP that this thing's gonna be capable of because we're gonna get some really high end chips in here, the Core Ultra 9 275HX and a 5070Ti. So this might be a really great portable media production or creativity laptop that can also do gaming. Um, as well. So just, but just know there are, there are some cutbacks on the premium features like the per key RGB and some of the, like the, the, these doesn't have Thunderbolt 5 support. Um, and I'm not sure what the SSD upgradability is like on the inside. I don't think this has Gen 5 SSDs on the inside. Let me double check. Yeah, Gen 4 NVMe SSDs with Wi-Fi 6E and previous gen, fifth gen Aeroblade fans, uh, whereas the new Predator 16 AI from 2025 and the Predator 18 AI, they have the, the new sixth gen Aeroblade fans uh, and upgraded speakers, 76 watt hour battery here, and we have a 230 watt power brick here as well. So I mean, that just goes to show you that they're targeting a lower TDP and power throughput for this laptop compared to the thicker, higher TDP laptops on the market, including their higher end Acer Predator 16 AI and 18 AI. So um, overall though, for slim and light laptops, I think this one's gonna be very competitive as long as, especially when it goes on sale. Um, and especially if it can undercut some of the competition in whatever markets it goes into. It certainly has potential because we have a great screen, 240 or 165 Hertz on the OLED display. Overall, the Predator Helios Neo 16S AI is a promising slim laptop, especially, I think, when it goes on sale. But we'll have to actually do some testing and benchmarking, so hopefully I can get my hands on one in the near future. Uh, that's it for this overview. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out.